Hello, this is Christina coming to you from sunny California and my kitchen corner. And today I would like to share with you some of the decorations that I did for my house. And these decorations are for St. Patrick's Day. And a lot of these um, ideas are being reused. Um, for instance, this one I did for Christmas and for uh, Valentine's. In Valentine's, I just um, glued a doily on there and for this this holiday I'm just gonna be hot gluing the back of this bow and I'll be putting it on there and that's it that's my picture frame you can st still see the red on here from the red um, heart doily, but it doesn't matter because it's going to go on the wall and nobody can really see it that close and unless they come really close. But other than that, they won't be able to see it. And I think that looks really nice. Very fancy. I'm quite happy with it. And the next, the next craft that I am doing is um, I took off... If you remember, I had put some glittery hearts on this branch. And um, I know I could have just cut another branch from my backyard, but I didn't want to do that. So I just peeled off the hearts and I um, replaced them with these foam shamrocks. And um, I bought those from the Dollar Tree. And um, let's see, it had 60 pieces. And as you can see, I didn't use all of them. I still have a bunch here. And I think that's enough. So I'll, I'll just keep this, the rest for maybe the table for when I decorate. And um, I think my, my sister and her kids are coming over. And I, I can just scatter those on the table. And then um, I bought this decoration, or it's a, a Christmas pick. And I paid 30 cents for it at um, Big Lots and I kind of like it like that because it, it's very glittery. I just added another foamy uh, onto the vase and, um, and another one on this votive candle holder and maybe I'm going to look for a green candle. I, I have some somewhere but I need to look for them and that that's the decoration there for my um, and table for my living room and that's for my living room I also. had uh, made these roses out of um, paper bags because I was trying to look for some burlap at the dollar stores and I was never lucky enough to find any so I thought oh, I'll just I'll mimic them with um, paper bags and so that's what I did and this is just a um, old um, grapevine wreath that I had and I used it for Christmas also and I used it for Valentine's and now I'm going to use it for St. Patrick's Day and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue it on here and um, I'm going to have to do that and then come back because I can't glue and hold the camera at the same time and I also bought um, these bows these glitter bows for 20 cents at Big Lots and they were 90% off of the regular price and I'll be decorating this uh, larger reef and it's also a grapevine reef and then this is just an old decoration that I had that I'm going to be using and so stay tuned and I'll be back with a um, finished product okay so I'm done with the reef and so I just um, twist tight the, the bows onto the reef and um, I hot glued the, uh, the other rows, the paper rows, onto the top and so this is how it's going to look and I kind of like it. It's um, simple. And then if you remember I bought these at Target at the after Christmas sale and I paid 90 cents I believe for the um, or no I think I paid a dollar fifty yes I paid a dollar fifty I think for the uh, lantern 
and I just hung a earring onto it and then I also have um, some a little candles the little flameless candles and I, I think I got those from Walmart for uh, I don't know 25 cents I also put a another one in a mercury glass votive that I had and so I had this little shadow box and I just stuck a glitter bow in it and then here is where I hang my ring when I do the dishes um, when I have them in my I have this by my my sink and so I just put a little shamrock right here just to dress it up and here is the um, wreath that I'm going to be using on my front door and uh, since I had a lot of these little foamy things I just decided to put them around and I I um, twist tied three three bows onto that and on the bottom and then one on the top and then I've had this plaque for many many years so I just tied it to the reef and that's it I'm calling it done so that's for gonna be on my craft door you're gonna need um, glue sticks your glue gun some scissors I bought these little foamy um, shamrocks from the dollar store the Dollar Tree and then I um, made these for Christmas and these are paper roses made out of um, paper bags and I made these in December these are the bowls that I bought from Big Lots and I paid 20 cents for four of them and the, this is all that's left so I'm just probably going to put them on my front door and um, oh and I also bought these from the 99 cent store and um, this is a five pack of kitchen towel set and I got it because it's green and it has um, three piece tea towels a uh, two piece dish cloth with scrubber back so I thought it was a really good deal for 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 two dollars for a dollar ninety nine and so that's that's how I'm going to decorate my my house and my kitchen and my corner over there is already done as you can see it says happy St. Patrick's Day and then look how lovely my picture frames came out and here's my little corner and these are just decorations that I've had for a long time there's another lantern that I bought from Target for a dollar fifty, I believe. And yeah, I have some it. other shamrocks um, th on the um, columns of my porch, and maybe I'll do a um, video on the front, but I don't think it's necessary. Okay, so tell me what do you think? How did you decorate your home for St. Patrick's Day? Bye.